Hello Hard and welcome to Big Dig with John. Today we're going to be doing about bees and forestry. Okay, the first important part about bees and forestry is the scoop. The scoop is used to collect the hives. So around the world you'll find uh, procedurally generated hives uh, that will contain uh, bees, which you can use to crossbreed and pretty much to create a uh, honeycomb, as you can see at the side here, um, for every item in the game. So to make a scoop, you put a piece of wool at the top, you put a stick to either side of the wool, in the centre row you put sticks and in the bottom centre you also put a stick. And that creates the scoop. Now a lot of people don't like bees but I think they're pretty cool because pretty much you can make everything uh, with them. Uh, as long as you put the time and effort into them, uh, you can really like, you can really benefit from them. Okay, so let's start. Uh, so these are the hives that you, f you can find throughout the game. There is also ender hives but um, I was unable to get one because obviously I've destroyed them all in the end. But let's carry on. Okay, so the top one is a marble hive. Marble hives uh, spawn pretty much everywhere around the world. There isn't a place where they actually spawn uh, like exactly. So you'll find them pretty much anywhere. Um, what you do is you use your scoop and you use it like a pickaxe and you just break it. Now every hive that you break has a chance of dropping a rare val uh, valiant bee. Uh, and valiant bees basically are like um, rare ones. Uh, there can be in any of these hives, uh, just a rare drop, and you can make some like sugar cane and certain coloured bees out of them, but they're not that good. Um, in dungeon chests you can get stead uh, steady fast bees that basically are nocturnal, so they work through the night and the day, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'll carry on. Uh, these are forestry uh, bees. Uh, forestry bees are found, uh, as you can see, this tree, uh, out like a Minecraft tree. Uh, these will be hanging like uh, under the tree. Uh, like a bee's hive, uh, and you'll find them in forests. Uh, forestry bees, uh, forestry uh, hives drop uh, forestry princess and a forestry drone. Uh, the meadows one are found on the floor, like in a valley, so you'd find them in open green areas like there. Um, this hive will drop. Um, Meadows, a Meadows Drone and a Meadows Princess. Uh, they all have a chance of dropping a uh, certain type of honeycomb, uh, but I'm not going to talk, I'll talk about that in a sec. Okay, this is a rock hive. Now, rock hives are found underground in like caves. Uh, they blend in, they're not that rare. Uh, you're likely to find them if you like dig a lot, uh, especially if you find like a ravine, you'll definitely find one. Rock hives drop um, rock bees, rocky bees, and rocky princesses. Rocky Drones and Rocky Princesses. Now this is a marshy hive. Marshy hives uh, spawn in swamps. Uh, you'll see them uh, mainly in, you can see them slightly in the water sometimes as well as next to the trees. They'll just be randomly in that um, biome. So majority of these hives are actually a bi biome. Um, they have to be in the exact biome apart from the marble which can be found anywhere. So uh, the swampy one will drop um, marshy princess and a marshy drone they all have a chance of dropping either or uh, so basically they don't always will they won't always drop a princess you know they will always drop a princess but they won't always drop a drone uh, this is a water hive water hives are found uh, in the bottom of lakes and oceans uh, they're pretty easy to find on night majority hives can be very easily seen on night because they all glow so um, if you had some sort of flying ability you'd be able to go over the land and you'll be able to see like on the mini map in the corner, as you can see, um, you can see the area that I'm in now, it's glowing. That's because I've got torches down. These hives will also glow. So uh, as you can see to the left hand corner of the map, uh, it's dark. If there were a hive there, it actually would glow. Uh, this is a, a wintry. Now the, uh, the five hives that I've just shown you, uh, uh, actually I'll tell you this in a second after I've broken them all. Uh, so these are wintry hives, so this is a wintry hive, they're found in like snowy air, uh, snowy biomes and they will drop um, a wintry drone or a wintry princess or both, wherever the, there they go. Now this is a modest 
Princess, they're found in deserts. You can also get a modest drone, but obviously I didn't get one this time. Like I said, it's a bit random chance. Now the bottom one is a jungle uh, hive. Jungle hives are found at the top of uh, the big jungle trees, so the big massive trees that are in jungles. Now this last one is, uh, I think they're called in blister bees, but basically it's a never hive. Now out of all of them, oh, every hive, uh, that can randomly generate, well, not randomly, yeah, well, randomly generate in your world. I think the never hive is the hardest because the never is always bright, so it's very difficult to see this hive. It took me a good two hours to find one of these hives where the rest were pretty easy, it took about half an hour tops. Um, so this is a never hive. Now these drop in blister bees, and the last one which I haven't actually got here is the end hive. End hives are obviously found in the end. Now out of all the hives, the easiest one to find surprisingly is the end hive uh, simply because the end is very dark. So on the minimap these little glowing like hives basically show up really clearly. Uh, so you can easily find them. Obviously getting there and back is a pain in the ass. Uh, and they aren't very, they're really vicious bees. Basically never, uh, I'll go into the bees characteristics in a second. Um, but basically some bees have different traits. So basically when you find bees you want uh, w the purpose of bees is to breed them. Now to breed them you need to make um, I think it's an apiary. Now to make an apiary you need uh, wooden planks, wooden um, slabs as well as you need an impregnated case. To make an impregnated case, you need to get a carpenter, which I showed you many episodes ago, how to make. And basically, you put wood in there and seed oil. So basically, you use a squeezer, you squeeze seeds into this section, uh, and uh, you pump them in using trans uh, water transport pipes, uh, wooden water transport pipes, or whatever ones you've got. Uh, it's a bit of a common thing that everyone knows about, so don't worry about it. Uh, you'll be easily be able to do it. And then basically over time, with power, you need to power your carpenter, you'll be able to make an impregnated casing. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to make one because obviously I've showed you how to make um, the squeezer before, so it's pointless uh, again. So basically an impregnated casing, you put it in the centre. Uh, to the left and right of it, put wooden planks. And then to the bottom, put also wooden planks. To the top, put wooden slabs. It doesn't matter which ones you use. Um, the recipe itself allows you to use any tree in Big Dig to like make the apiary. So basically, the apiary is where you breed your bees. Now, there is actually a beehive, a uh, beehive, a bee house, uh, which is actually a lot easier to make because obviously you don't have to mess around with seed oil and uh, the carpenter. You just need to get a bit of comb, so you just need to start this off. The only problem with that is that in these bee houses, um, you can't breed bees. They won't uh, mutate into another species. So they're not very good. They're only good for trees. So I'll show you them in a different episode. Uh, for now, uh, I've made an apiary. So, like I said, the bee house isn't, uh, it's only good for bees, not for actually bee breeding, because you can't actually breed bees in it. Okay, so now that you've got an apiary, there, I, when you put stuff in, uh, when you put your bees in, you can put many bees that you want in. Um, they will, you'll put the queen at the top and the drone at the bottom. I'm going to move it quickly. As you can see, the, the bar will fill up, and then when it gets to the top, this top princess will become a queen. Then the bar will tick down, and then once uh, the bar's ticked all the way to the bottom, um, it will create um, a new type of bee. So sometimes it will create new bees, sometimes it will create the same, depending on its characteristics. So basically, if you put a marble and uh, a forest, a forest uh, drone in there, so a marble princess and a forest drone, you have a chance of getting more drones from the forest. Uh, you got more. You got a chance of getting marble drones as well, but you also have a chance of getting common, which is a different trait or a different breed altogether. Um, I'm not going to go straight into this straight away because you're going to get a bit confused. So basically, once you've collected your bees, so you've collected your bees uh, with a scoop. Um, I've told you where you can get your bees. You can get them from pretty much any area of the world. Different ones are in different places. Now I'm going to go through the bees and the characteristics. So marble bees, marble meadow and forest, they're the easiest bees to work with. Uh, this is because uh, they only require flowers. So basically, uh, when you put bees in here, they have certain characteristics, meaning they need certain things. Um, so if you put the forestry, the marble or the meadow in here, 
uh, you will need um, to you you will need to use uh, you need to put plant uh, certain plants near so that they're happy. Um, bees need certain conditions to breed, and uh, so basically, uh, the normal ones pretty much need um, to be uh, in the daylight. I'll explain different ones in a second. So basically, Marvel meadow and forest need flowers so they're the easiest to work with that they're the ones that i suggest you start with rocky uh, just need stone so you just need to put stone underneath or nearby um this hive for them to be happy um marshy uh, need uh mushrooms now to get mushrooms to work you need to dig a hole under here so you need to dig a hole um, cover it up and you need to get the right um, light settings and then obviously then you can plant the mushrooms and cover them up because you actually need mushrooms near the hive um, now the next one is a lily pad lily pads are for water uh, water bees so they'll require that flower then um, then it was winter winter just require flowers yet again they require flowers um, like the uh, other normal bees did. Uh, then you'll find then the desert bees. So the desert bees, which are also uh, called modest bees, um, they need cactuses, and they also uh, uh, they need special climates. But I'll explain that in a second as well. Um, jungle bees they need so tropical bees, which you find in jungle. Uh, they need vines. It says that they need ferns, but uh, in Big Dig they actually need vines. Uh, and never bees need never warts. If you get end bees, they need the end egg. Uh, so you need to kill the dragon to get the end egg. But you also need to kill the dragon to get back anyway. So um, it's something that had to be done anyway. Uh, but you don't need to worry about that straight away. So now I'm going to explain traits. So basically I've explained what certain bees' uh, flowers need. So basically you put the bees in here and they need special... Um, requirements they need a special flower but they also some need to be in a special climate this is why i said um marble meadow and forest are the easiest to work with also rocky they're also easy to work with this is because marshy and wintry need to be in their actual bio marshy wintry and muddy sorry need to be in their actual biomes um this is because uh, they'll they need to be that like, winter need to be in cold climates, whereas modest need to be insanely high, whereas um, marshy need to be in swamps. It's simple as. So you need to also use these plants in those biomes, uh, if you get what I mean. Uh, water don't seem to be affected. Watery don't seem to be affected. All you need to do is use lily pads uh, in um, near the hive, like so, like I've done here. So imagine if there was water bees in there. Uh, they'd need lily pads nearby. Um, forestry, forest, uh, meadow, and marble. They'll work in pretty much any biome. Uh, they, I think they pretty much work in meadows and forests, but majority of biomes are meadow and forest, so they should be fine in your biome. It'll tell you if they're not in a second. I'll show you what it show, says. And tropical need to be in the jungle. Uh, tropical need to be in a jungle, and in blister need to be in uh, the never now now another thing is that in blister and tropical will harm you the rest won't harm you so these are all the things you need to remember about basic bees there's not a lot basically they require a certain flower they all require a certain flower which i went through they're not always flowers like some are rocks some are like cactuses they all require a certain plant and item nearby they all require a certain climate to breed in but as well as that, tropical and in blister will harm you, and so will end. So basically, tropical, if you go near their bees whilst they're breeding, they will poison you. In blister, bees will harm any mob that goes nearby it. And end bees will only harm players. So they're like the nuisance bees. Um, so if you were starting with bees, I wouldn't suggest you go near tropical, and blister, and um, end to start with. Uh, just simply because they're a pain in the ass, uh, like I said earlier. Uh, same with these, same with marshy, wintry, modest, and uh, water. Actually, water aren't that bad. Uh, basically, marshy, wintry, and modest, 
they're the climates you have to mess around with different biomes so you have to like separate you have to go around different areas so basically if you're not nearby then that um you know that uh, section of the map will uh, dissolate uh, like will like disappear and then the bees won't process if you got what i mean because it has to be generated so you need to be pretty much nearby the bees or have like a world anchor uh, so it's a bit of a pain in the ass as well those are so basically if you're going to start i would start with uh, these normal bee so forest uh forest meadow or marble or rocky um now what you need to do next is you need a bee chest bee chests are pretty good uh, because they allow you to start an insane amount of bees you'll notice uh, that as soon as you start breeding bees you'll get you'll put one drone and one princess in and sometimes you get four um one princess back and then four others so eventually you actually always seem to get more so it builds up. You never get less. So you'll always get a surplus of bees. So having the bee chest really does help. So how do you get honeycomb? Basically, any of these different combs work. Uh, so you could get them from smashing loads of hives, or you can get them from breeding bees. So basically, like I said earlier, you put two different bees in. So I'll put a meadow and a marble in. Then it'll tell you at the side what climates it needs. So this one, it's happy, and it's going to start ticking down because it'll say at the side if it's not. Uh, if there were no flowers nearby, which isn't no flowers nearby, so it should complain in a second. Wait for it. It should complain. So basically, it would say um, there's no flowers. Uh, so basically, if I put a flower nearby, it should be happy now. Um, these, obviously, like I said, near flat need flowers nearby. Um, I'm sorry about rambling on, but it's just bees, so you have to like ramble on a bit. So like I said earlier, a bee chest really does help. Um, so basically how you do it, you put a chest in the middle, a normal chest, put a piece of glass above it, and then to the left and right and uh, to the left and right of the chest, as well as the bottom row, put honeycomb. And that makes your apris chest. An apris chest basically allows you to store a large quantity of bees. Not an insane amount, but enough so that you so, so that um it holds anything like you've got too many of. So it's it's a good way to start. It's pretty easy to make. Because you do create a lot of honeycomb. Uh, you can see that this bee is actually happy because it starts ticking down. If you notice that this bar isn't ticking down at all, it means that the bee um, needs some sort of things. It will pop up the side what it needs. It'll say it's in the wrong climate. This tells you what climate it is. If this says like a cross through it, it'll say uh, it's in the wrong climate. It needs to be, uh, and then you need to use, then you need to put it into a different climate. Uh, by using a bee, a bee analyzer, which I'll show you a different episode, um, you can actually look at the traits and what it actually needs. But for now, I would just suggest using easy bees like meadow, forest, and marble because you don't actually need the other ones yet. You just want to start off with these. Um, so then, you want, the purpose of bees is to get their honeycomb. Um, their honeycomb allows you to process it, and you can make energy, and you can pretty much make any item in the game with it. Different honeycomb, like silky honeycomb, will make... Um, Stuff like string, whereas frosty honeycomb will make ice and snowballs, I think. Uh, now, what we're going to make next is a bigger chest, because you'll straight away need to make a bigger chest for your bees. So basically, you need a sturdy casing, which is just uh, brass. Uh, brass. Um, it's just, um, oh my god. It's just uh, bronze in a circle. And I think bronze is, oh god, I can't remember what's bronze. Uh, there'll be a part. Oh, well, basically, you can put you put stuff in a metal energy confuser, or I'm sure you can use the powder versions to um, make bra uh, brass, just copper and tin. I think it is copper and tin. Up, yeah. Uh, so basically, let's not go on to that too much. Uh, I should have showed you a different episode. I haven't actually been on Big Dig for ages, um, but basically, it's easy to find out. So basically, put bra uh, copper at the side, copper ring at the side, a sturdy case in the center. Um, so copper to the left, copper to the right, sturdy case in the, in the center, and then glass to the top and bottom makes your centrifuge. Now, this is what I was on about. Basically, I should have probably placed it there. Wow, never mind. I think I can move it. Yeah, we can. Um, so your centrifuge basically is what breaks down your uh, honeycomb. So basically, you put your honeycomb in here, you need to power it, so it does actually need energy. And it will break it down into certain things. So, for example, if you had golden comb um, from, I think it's glistening bees, 
uh, that will make that gives you a chance of getting um, gold dust, which you can obviously make into ingots. Um, so that's the whole pu purpose of bees is to break their comb down into certain ingredients so that you can pretty much make anything in the game. Um, honeycomb can actually also be put uh, uh, made into um, energy. You can make it like turn it into liquid. You can liquidize it and turn it into biofuel, like honey fuel, basically. Uh, also, by putting a centrifuge, you also have a chance to get in, in like beeswax and pollen and stuff like that, uh, which ha are also used in different recipes. Um, for now, this is just a basic overview of what machines do. So later on, uh, in different episodes, I'll be showing you each branch. This is the reason why I'm not going too much into detail. Uh, as you find, I'm really vague. I'm just basically showing you uh, the purpose of it, not actually what it does. So basically, uh, I'm just showing you... Uh, I'm just showing you uh, how to start with bees. So now you want to make um, you want to make uh, the it's basically a larger bee chest. Uh, so redstone at the top, redstone on the bottom, another sturdy casing which is made out of uh, bronze. Uh, you want to put copper to the left, copper to the right, sturdy casing in the center, redstone to the bottom, redstone to the top of it. Make your apris machine. And this is actually not an actual thing; it doesn't do anything. But when you use it in another recipe, which is this one, so you put your apron sh machine, which you just used, put chest to the left and chest to the right, uh, hand columns, uh, then put a diamond to the top and a redstone at the bottom, make your indexer. Now the indexer holds hundreds of bees. The problem with this is that um, if you break it, it will pretty much crash your game because it c can hold pretty much an infinite an infinite amount of bees. So these bees what I've just got, if I just shift click them in, it will hold them. You can use it to sort, you can use it by sort, sort by type, sort by species. Um, so it is actually pretty cool. It holds pretty much an infinite amount. The only problem, like I said, if you accidentally break the machine, um, then you'll have big problems because your game will crash because there'll be so much uh, bees on the floor if you've got hundreds, like you will. Um, now, that's pretty much it for the basics of bees. I know I haven't covered much, uh, but I've obviously rammed on for nearly like 20 minutes about literally jack shit. Um, so basically, these are what you've got to remember. Uh, bees will generate around the world. They have some bees require certain environments, um, and will, some bees can actually harm you. Um, the purpose of it is to breed certain bees, so you could breed, later on you can breed marshy and something else uh, to get another breed. Um, so the reason is so that you breed certain bees to get another um, like type. So you can get ancient bees, you can get millions of other ones, and basically they'll, some will make diamonds, some will make well, diamond comb which can make diamonds, some will make gold, some will make iron, so basically string, basically anything like main material in the game, uh, bees can make. Uh, certain mods which are actually on this will even have their own certain bees so even mods uh, use them to help them uh, so it's pretty cool uh, that uh, pretty much you can make nearly every resource with bees uh, I'm going to go through each um, branch in different episodes later after this but for now all you have to remember is um, certain bees need different uh, environments some can harm you Make sure that they have the right requirements, so they need to be in special, the certain biome, some need to be, like, the apron needs to be in a certain biome. Um, they also need a certain flower nearby, so that might be lily pads, or mushrooms, or flowers, or vines, or cactuses, or stone. Um, you put the bees, you put a, a princess in the top part of the apiary, uh, and drone at the bottom, and then they'll, they will mingle together to make uh, a queen. This queen will tick away, so this is like the lifespan. When it dies, so basically when it gets to zero, it's pretty much dead. That's called what it clusters. It will create drones and more princesses, so you'll never run out. You'll always have more uh, drones. You'll never get more than one um, princess, but you'll always get, you can sometimes get like up to five, maybe more drones. Depend um, bees will have certain qualities. Uh, as you can see, now it's an unknown. It says unknown genome under this one at a moment in time. Later on, I'm going to show you how to make uh, the bee analyzer, which will tell you all the qualities. This will make it easy in the future to realize 
what flowers are needed because some will need certain flowers uh, they all need certain flowers but you don't actually know which ones uh, it will also tell you what traits it has so it might be like it can attack you or it might actually give you regeneration some give you regeneration some give you all different status effects uh, as well as it will tell you um, where it's best suited like for now you, as you can see it's raining so this bee it isn't tolerant to rain so it's going to stop uh, it's going to stop going down um, this bee has created honeycomb uh, so you can put that in the centrifuge and it will break down into a thing so basically you get your bees make sure they're in the right climate uh, you breed them in an apiary they will create comb as well as they will breed into other bees if you're lucky and um, then you put their new comb into the centrifuge uh, so the whole point of bees is to breed them into other species I'll show you how the branches work um, breeding isn't random it's actually certain bees will breed have a certain bees will have like a 2% chance of becoming something else um, it's very rare sometimes that some change it's very common that some change um, so I'll show you how easy it is but so far I haven't too much difficulty with it uh, that's it for this episode uh, I've showed you where to, how to store bees I've showed you how to start with bees and that's it uh, before this episode gets to like half an hour uh, I'm sorry it's been very boring and I'm sorry that I haven't put a lot of uh, content onto my channel lately uh, it's simply because um, I'm like at uni now so um, it's diff very difficult to find time to record and shit but I thought I'd put this out and start with bees and stuff um, but yeah I'll, go, I'll be going through the branches in later episodes I'll probably be putting a new one of these out every week um, so different branch and I'll explain how you progress so this is how you start and I'll later on show you how to progress so basically get your bees and then I'll show you later on so yeah thanks for watching hit like a favorite if you enjoyed this hit subscribe if you want to see more content from me and comment if you want to see certain branches first uh, certain branches are a lot harder to get and sometimes you need to do other ones first so I'm going to have like a step approach so if you follow each episode that I do you'll be able to actually get every bee in the game okay then thanks for watching Bye.